What's up everyone? I'm Matt with Ozark Overland Adventures and in this video I want to talk about the top 10 pieces of camping gear that have become critical for our overlanding trips. Now some of this stuff I've been using for the last month or so and have just fallen in love with it and some of this stuff I've been using for over a year and it's just become a critical piece of what we load up when we're going on our trips. Now I mean none of this stuff is necessary. I mean you can you can be a complete minimalist with your camping style if you want to that's fine but i say all the time i go out to thrive and not to play some self-inflicted version of survivor and so this stuff has become super nice to make camping as enjoyable as possible ozark overland adventures is proudly supported by the more expo the midwest's number one adventure travel consumer expo artemis overland hardware they have one of the largest selections of overlanding gear available. Big Iron Overland Rally, where Overland Expo meets Music Festival. Long Creek Overland, your source for Ozark Overland Adventures merchandise and more. Outback RV of Texas, the best place for Overland Adventure trailers. And Moon, makers of the Moonshade Portable Awning. First on my list is a really good quality sleeping bag or top quilt, and this one, from Enlightened Equipment has been just incredible. It is down filled and you can completely customize how you want these constructed. You can pick the colors of the inside and the outside. You can pick the fill level, the type of fill, the loft in these things. And I used to think that just a, a good cheap sleeping bag will get you by and always thought it was ridiculous to spend good money on a sleeping bag until I tried this. Now this one I've talked about a couple different times, but I am absolutely in love with this Enlightened Equipment top quilt. You have the option of just completely opening it up and making it into a blanket, which is how I use it in my rooftop tent, or you can completely zip it up and turn this into a sleeping bag, which is how I use it in my hammock. And so no matter if I'm in my tent or in my hammock, this is what's going to be with me this is what i'm going to be sleeping in because it is just that comfortable it is just that warm and awesome and so a good quality sleeping bag doesn't have to be enlightened equipment but i just particularly love this brand i love that you can customize it i love that you can you know build it however you want to and i i think it's absolutely worth it so yeah you can get by with a cheaper one but once you have embraced something of this quality you won't regret it and i love the fact you don't have to store it in this bag i mean this is pretty big i can take this sleeping bag and put it in i've just got this little scent sack and so i can i can cinch it down to fit in this and then so when i'm when i'm traveling and i need space this is what it, it goes in when i'm at home and when i you know keep it all nice and, and fluffy i keep it in this and then to go along with a good sleeping bag a good camp pillow has been very difficult for me to find. I have tried multiple inflatable ones, uh, some of the ones that, that pack down kind of medium, some of them that pack down really, really tight and small, and they've all busted on me at some point or another. So I found this climate camp pillow on Amazon, and it is, I think this is more comfortable than my, the, the pillow in my bed at home. Um, it's it's got this outer layer that you know keeps just dirt and stuff from from getting all in there and then what you do it's got this nice soft i guess kind of microfiberish layer and you take the the pillow knock it down into that layer and then you roll this up just to kind of hide that and that's your pillow and it's got i don't know what kind of foam padding is in here um I think some sort of memory foam. I don't know what it is, but this is the most comfortable pillow I have ever slept on at camp. And I'm, I'm never going to get rid of this one. There's no chance for this popping. There's no chance of it deflating on you in the middle of the night. It is just that comfortable. And I love it. So I don't even know what the name of this one is, but it's a, it's by climate and I'll, I'll put a link to all this stuff in the description below. But if you're looking for a good camp pillow and you've struggled like I have with the inflatable ones and, or you know, bringing your pillows from home, they just take up so much space. 
And then when you're done, you just put it back in that section and really squish all the air out of it. Grab the little Velcro strap. And boom, there it is. Up next is a five pound propane tank. You can see I've got the one that I keep mounted in my Gladiator. That thing is so handy just because this is where I cook. I don't have to worry about the one pound propane bottles flopping around in the rig. I don't have to worry about one going out and then you know, I gotta deal with that in the trash. I don't have to worry about how much to carry. That five pound propane tank cost me 60 bucks off Amazon and I can refill it for $5. Five one pound propane tanks will cost you around $20 if not more depending on where you live. So the value in that is unbeatable. It's not very big and in my case, I can just keep it mounted there and I got the hose that comes here for all my cooking stuff and it's fantastic. This is the one we have, it's by a company called Ignik, I-G-N-I-K, but this is one that we use in her vehicle since she doesn't have any place to mount it. And I think these are fantastic. It's all in one. It's got the propane bottle there. It comes with the hose that's with the adapter for your camp stove and you know the typical camping type connectors and it stays in this nice little case to keep your vehicle clean and it's just really handy if you're still dealing with the little one pound bottles trust me a five pound propane tank is worth it absolutely worth it and it's awesome up next on my list and if you've watched many of my camping videos where i've been cooking you know how invaluable the coleman folding oven has become to me this one is very special because i actually found it in a flea market and it's it's one of the older models it's made of steel instead of aluminum but this has totally changed how we cook and some of the things we can cook at camp breads desserts cookies brownies frozen things like lasagnas that you can you know get at the grocery store you can pop that in here and it has been fantastic. And I got this, I started doing Dutch oven cooking and fell in love with it, but we had a trip to Colorado where there was a burn ban. So that meant no, no, no desserts, no, no you know, cooking in the Dutch oven on that trip. And so I got one of these and I, I don't even know where my Dutch oven is anymore. <laughs> these things are just so handy. And they're small, it folds up just like that. You just open it up. Pop, let the bottom fall down, pull up the lid, lock them in place. Oops, there we go. Take your grate, put it in there. And then you put this on top of your, your camp stove and it legitimately works. I have made cookies, I have made lasagnas, I have made, you know, warmed up breadstick. I warmed up leftover pizza in these things and they are absolutely fantastic. One of my biggest staples for camp is biscuits and sausage gravy. And so I use this to cook my biscuits and that's just such a game changer for, for breakfast at camp. And don't forget cinnamon rolls. Cinnamon rolls at camp are fantastic. So a Coleman folding oven, if you've never tried one of these, it will change how you can cook at camp, I promise. Up next, the ability to have hot water at camp for either cleaning dishes or especially for taking a nice hot shower on extended overlanding trips, you know, maybe five days plus, where you really don't want to go that long without a shower. The ability to have hot water is just so nice. And this one is really one of the best ones that I have found. I've got friends that have other ones, but this is my absolute favorite. It's called The Boss, the battery operated shower system. It's made by Mr. Heater, the same company that makes the Buddy Heaters. And it is an all-in-one battery operated hot water heater. And this battery legit will last you months. Uh, the very first time I charged this and used it, it was a good six months before I ever had to recharge it. Now, obviously I wasn't using it on every single trip, but the fact that it will last that long is quite incredible. And, and this is, this is it. Um, it is designed to 
you know, put a one pound propane baller right here. Or in my case, I just take my, my hose from my five pound bottle. Turn it in there. It comes with everything. It's got your water pump that you just drop in a in your, in your water source. For me, it's one of these seven gallon water jugs. So you just drop it down in there. Plug your power in. Everything is quick connect on your water connections. Then take your hose, plug it in. Turn it on, and this will raise the temperature of your water up 30 degrees. So, and it actually tells you how much we've got. So we're starting with a water that's 55 degrees. We'll turn it on. You hear the flame kick on. There's the pump. Now it's not super high pressure, but that is excellent for washing dishes or for taking a shower. And it is getting it up to, it's at 70, Five degrees. Oh, just realized I didn't have the temperature turned all the way up. 84 degrees, 86, 87. This is getting nice and warm. I could take a very comfortable shower with this right here. And if it's really cold where you are, you can actually disconnect this, recirculate the water, and you can get it up to 120 degrees. It's got a safety cutoff, so it doesn't get more than that. But that, that's it. Nice hot water. You can see the steam. From the, I don't know if you can see the steam or not, but it is steaming. It is currently 95 degrees on that water, which is super nice. And the other thing I love about the Boss system is that you're not limited to the shower wand. You've got this that makes a very nice kind of a kitchen sink, washing your hands, wash your dishes. This is this is really fantastic. So. Is it cheap? No, I think it's about 350 bucks on Amazon, but is it worth it to have dependable hot water at camp? Yeah, I, I think this has been a complete, complete game changer for us on long trips, being able to take showers and you know needing hot water, it, it's fantastic. Speaking of having heated things at camp, a diesel heater will completely change your ability to camp in the winter time. We started using these this winter and it, it, it has made camping in the wintertime so comfortable. I mean, it can be 20 degrees outside and I'll be up in my tent, just in my underwear, sleeping really, really well. This particular model is one by Yona Adventure Gear. It's a two kilowatt model. They do some very nice things with theirs, including a, roto, a two gallon roto packs. Um, they 3D print a lot of the, the little add-on pieces. I've used this so much, I actually broke a leg off uh, in the back of my Gladiator. But one thing I love that they do is everything's in this really nice Pelican case and it's all there. I actually had a friend of mine uh, shoot me a message to, to a group that we're in and said, where do you keep your hoses for your diesel heater? I said, mine goes in the case because it does right there. You got this little piece that goes into your tent and you can kind of direct the airflow. It's got the power cord for your, your power supply. And I mean, they legit work. There's no odor, it, there's no condensation like using a propane buddy heater. And with this two gallon roto packs, I can get four nights worth of heat from this. I'm about to go on a trip to Kentucky. <laughs> it's gonna be lows in the upper 40s when we start the trip and it'll be lows in the 20s when we end the trip. So this thing is going with me and by the end of that trip, I'm gonna be sleeping really, really nice. Uh, with this. So um, do you have to get one like this? This is definitely a premium brand of diesel heaters. A couple of my friends have, you know, the ones you can get off Amazon for like, you know, under 200 bucks. They work. There is some DIY elements to those. This one comes fully, uh, this one comes ready to go and has some really nice 3D printed parts to, you know, like cover up the vents and, and stuff like that. So, and this one is assembled and put together right here in the USA. Um, by a buddy of mine in Kansas. So uh, do you have to get the, the really premium one like this? No, but they legit work. A diesel heater will completely change your ability to winter camp. It's just that good. 
Up next on my list of, of gear that has completely changed camping for us, that is a 12 volt fridge. I absolutely will never use ice in an ice chest again. I, I, I hate it. I hated the soggy food. I hated having to change out the ice. I, I just hated the sloshing around back there. And so once I got my first 12 liter fridge that I didn't even know I wanted, I can't, this, this is one thing that I just will not go without anymore. And whether it's a, a small 20 liter, like this new set power TC20, which was, is great for, you know, one person over a weekend, or, you know, something really big like this dual zone Iceco VL75 Pro. Uh, if you don't own a fridge, this is one of the best investments that you can make and they don't have to break the bank you know something like this little set power one you can get for 300 bucks or less you can get big ones you know 55 liters for three four hundred bucks so you don't have to spend a ton of money this particular one this big 75 liter dual zone that allows me to have two separate compartments i can set one of them as a freezer if i want to if i want to take frozen meats or, or frozen foods or if i want to take ice cream to camp i can and you know that one's a thousand dollars for something like that and they can go a lot a lot more than that depending on the brand but i have really come to love both set power and iceco uh, for their fridges if you don't have a fridge i highly recommend getting one they are just that handy and nice to have to keep your food in another thing that has completely changed how we camp and the things that we're able to do at camp are portable power stations whether it's to, to run a fridge overnight to protect my starter battery running the diesel heater keeping all of my electronics charged all my cameras drones gopros my phones um, you know all that stuff having a portable power station i highly recommend it whether it's a a small 300 watt 500 800 a big 1500 watt like that jackery 1500 there's sizes that will take care of you no matter what your needs are. Um, these, these are all great. I've used these. And, you know, so there's a lot of options out there in the portable power station space, depending on what your needs are. If you just need to keep a cell phone charged, you, you don't need a big 1500 one like that. A little, a little 300 watt like this, this Fantic would be great for that, keeping electronics charged, that sort of thing. If you need to maybe run a crock pot at camp or a hair dryer for your wife or need some backup power for a power tool that sort of thing that's where something like the jackery 1500 or this uh, new ecoflow delta mini with 800 watts 1500 watts of inverter power that's where those really come in handy for keeping a fridge going a 500 watt like this there's so many options but power portable power stations like this have really come a long way and can really change the things that you can do at camp and how long you can stay out at camp, that sort of thing. Another thing that I've been using for over a year now that has become one of my favorite pieces to carry on my trips is this Moonshade portable awning. Now, having any type of awning on a vehicle when you're you know, out in rainy conditions can be a huge deal to keep your area dry, especially if you're cooking and you know just wanna be outside and not cramped up in your tent the whole time so I, I the way my gladiator set up i can't mount a permanent awning on here so i found this moonshade and it is incredible and honestly i don't want a permanently mounted awning on here it is very high quality it's made of really thick material this isn't just your your little cheap tarp stuff but it's really thick everything is super tough on it so it's not going to rip I've, I've had this for over a year now and it has served me quite well but this one is seven foot by nine foot and makes a really nice covered space you've got two different mounting options you've got suction cups which in my case i don't use but you can suction them to the roof you can suction them to a window and what I use are these magnets, and they are crazy strong. I put one there, I put one there.
And now I've got a great coverage space on the back of my Gladiator. I can cook here without everything getting wet. I can sit out here and it's perfect. I've used this so many times. I'm going to use it on this next trip to Kentucky uh, later this week. And this thing actually works. The attention to detail that they put in it is impressive. It's even got hooks up here to, to hang a light from, to light this space up. I mean, it comes with everything. It's got stakes. You can, you know, tie it down for the wind. But what I love most about it is I'm not limited to just using it here. Like this past summer, we went to a, a, a local swimming hole and just the because of how I had the Gladiator parked, I took my moonshade and I can set it up on the side of my vehicle if I want to. If I want, I can take just two pieces of cord and I can tie that to a tree and have an awning come out from a tree. If I'm going on a trip and I'm not taking my own vehicle, but let's say we're taking my wife's Wrangler, I can just toss the bag in the back and boom, we've got an awning. So the versatility of this thing is incredible. I absolutely love the moonshade and it packs up smaller than a camp chair. So for an awning, for, for rainy conditions, get an awning. And if you don't have room to mount one permanently or just want, don't want to have the expense or, or mess with that, get a moonshade. They're really fantastic and they work. And finally, and I realize this doesn't really fall into the realm of camping gear but it does fall into the realm of overland gear and just communications in general because being able to communicate with your friends or with other people that are in your group, being able to communicate with people that may be away from camp can be critical and can actually be life-saving. So Midland Micro Mobile radios that operate in the GMRS bandwidth, We've just fallen in love with these. I've had multiple versions of the Midland radios. I'm now running the MXT 500. It's got 50 watts of power, so I can get a lot of range out, out of this thing. And the sound is crystal clear. You don't have to mess with all the, the static and the, the garble voices on CB. You don't have to mess with antenna tuning like you do on a CB. And this has totally changed communications out on the trail for a lot of people. And this is what me and all my buddies have, have kind of landed on is the Midland Micromobiles. Like I said, I've got the MXT 500 here in my Gladiator. Here in my wife's new Wrangler, we have the MXT 275. Actually have the, the, the base model for it tucked up here under the steering wheel. So it is out of sight and out of mind. The controls on the MXT 275 are on the microphone and I've got uh, a little RJ45 extension right here. So all she has to do is pull this out, plug it in, turn it on. And so in her Jeep, this is, this is all she has to deal with. She doesn't have the base model mounted down here because it's all hidden up under here. And when she doesn't need it, she just takes it out, puts it back in a glove box and it's out of the way. It's fantastic. All right, well, that's it. That's my, my top 10 things that I think has really changed the way we camp and, and do this overlanding thing. And I love it. Like I said, I go out to thrive, not to play survivor. So some of these creature comforts I really, really like, and I'm not ashamed to say it. Um, let me mention, uh, if you're interested in some of this gear or just looking at all kinds of great gear and overlanding and off-road um, goodies, the more expo is coming up April 8th, 9th, and 10th in Springfield, Missouri. It is one of my favorite events of the year, and it is the largest indoor overlanding and off-road expo in the country. And it's so big that this year, a lot of it has been moved outside because it's just grown that much. But it's, and like I said, it's in Springfield, Missouri, right in the middle of the U.S., so no matter where you are, I highly encourage you, make effort to attend the more expo. It is so cool and it is so much fun. I'm going to be there. I'm going to be teaching a class on Gaia GPS. So come hang out with me there. Uh, there's going to be so many cool things going on. If you don't have your tickets yet, you can get 20% off with the code OZARK ADV20. 
Ozark ADV20. We'll get you 20% off your tickets. But anyway, let me know in the comments, is there any piece of, of camping gear or overlanding gear or, or off-road gear that has completely changed how you do this? I'd be curious to know, you know, if, if you have something that I don't have, if you have something that I need to look at and, and check out, um, or maybe you, you know, disagree with some of, some of my choices and you're like, dude, that's, that's just way too bougie. Um, that's, that's way too glamping. Uh, and, and that's fine. But anyway, I, I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments. If you would like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're not already. I'm leaving in two days to go run as much of the Kentucky Adventure Trail as we can. And that's going to be an awesome trip. So hit that uh, bell notification so you're notified when that, uh, that content gets uploaded. And check out our Patreon if you're loving this channel and liking this content that we're putting out and want to support us in a tangible way. That is how you can do it. Uh, we really depend on and, and love our patron supporters and they are the backbone of this channel. So cannot do this without them. And as a bonus, you get access to all of my, my GPS data, all my routes and waypoints and all that sort of stuff. And if you're interested in Ozark Overland Adventures merchandise and also more Expo merchandise because they do theirs as well, check out longcreekoverland.com for, for all of that stuff. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.